In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I detangle my hair. I have a bad habit of going to sleep and not covering my hair. And after weeks of doing this repeatedly, my hair tends to form knots. So now I'm going to show you all the steps I take to detangle my hair. But first, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe now and follow me on my Instagram. Let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is completely saturate my hair with this spray bottle. Next, I'm going to use this Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap to clean my hair. The tools I'll be using are as follows. Some conditioner, a Demon brush, a comb, and some Outlet's ponytail holders. Now I'm going to section off my hair and work on detangling it section by section. I like to use a generous amount of conditioner because it makes the process way easier. Now that the conditioner is in my hair, I'm going to try to separate my hair as much as possible without using a comb. Now I'm going to divide this section in half and work on it one half at a time. Now this part is very important. When you're using the comb to detangle your hair, you want to start from the ends and work your way down to the roots. If you come in contact with any knots, make sure you take your time to detangle the knot. What you're going to see me do here is I'm going to take my hair out of the comb so I can find the knot and detangle the knot using my hands. After taking my time, this was the size of the knot that I took out of my hair and look how the comb goes through my hair like butter. After I'm done with this section, I'm going to twist it up and move on to the next one. This part of my hair was super tangled and after I tried to detangle it with my hands, I tried using a fine tooth comb to help me out a little bit more and that actually worked for me. So if you have a fine tooth comb, try testing that out and see if it works for you.
This section of my hair didn't really have any knots in it, so I decided to switch over to the Demon brush. Overall, this process took me about an hour, and if you want to have long, healthy hair, you have to put time and effort into it. And this is how much hair I lost. I don't think it was that much due to the fact that I haven't combed my hair in about two or three weeks. And this is what my hair looked like when I was done. Now, it's time for a rinse. Well, that's it for this video and if you found it helpful make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and be sure to visit the social media links down below in the description to follow me on instagram so with all that being said i've been the curly headed king signing off on the fam